Every single morning or sometimes at night before I go to bed, I'll write down all the key things that need to get done for the upcoming day. I write everything down and I won't do anything else until that is done. And so in this day's challenge, uh, we want to talk about how and the things that you want to schedule in your day. So here's number one is to schedule quiet time. For me, I believe in God. I believe in prayer and I will take time in the morning to quiet myself. I will use this time to pray, meditate, even have some devotion time. Maybe I have a book or my Bible and I will do that every single morning. Now here's the deal. You're going to have to schedule that every single day. Remember 24 hours in a day, seven days in a week equals 168, right? So you want to schedule each of these in your calendar. Here's number two, allocate the times you must be in class on a specific day. So you know your class schedule, you know what hours of the day you are to be in class, whether you're in middle school, high school, college, maybe you're returning, you already know what your scheduled classes look like, what days and what time. Now on your schedule, on the worksheet that we have there for you, Go ahead and allocate the times, put those times in. Number three, define the time periods in which you will study. Now, I absolutely believe that you should be studying about two hours for every hour you're in the classroom, right? So if you're in class for an hour, then you should be studying two hours for that class. Uh, in college, if you're taking 16 credit hours, you should be studying about 32 credit hours outside the classroom. But on your schedule, go ahead and schedule when you will spend quality time studying a specific subject here's number four listen we gotta eat <laughs> let me tell you something now let me just be honest with you if i don't plan my breakfast and lunch i'll go the whole day and i look up it's eight o'clock at night i'm like wow i didn't eat anything if you don't schedule it, it won't get done yes put your breakfast lunch time uh, down on your calendar but listen you don't need to eat for longer than 30 minutes use the other designated half hour to prepare for your next class right so in most cases when you're at school you may have an hour for lunch it doesn't take you 60 minutes to eat. Go ahead and take those 30 minutes to enjoy yourself, relax, uh, enjoy your meal. And then the other 30 minutes, you can go ahead and prepare for your next class or study something, all right? Here's the next thing. If you have a part-time job or maybe a full-time job and you're all and you're in school, set time aside for work hours, extracurricular activities, and other necessary events. Now you absolutely know uh, what you have to do every single day, right? You know the things that you're a part of, whether it's cheerleading, whether it's football, whether it's sports, whether it's Glee Club, where you're working a part-time job, fast food restaurant, maybe you are a tech assistant, maybe you work at a law firm, whatever you do outside of class and study, put that on your schedule. Here's number six, carry a detailed appointment or organizer so you will always know what needs to be done for the day. Now, I like to use, and you know, many of you guys, you have, you know, you have a mobile device, right? And you know, you can put it on your mobile device, but I believe that there's something happen when you put pen to pad and you write your schedule or you write your goals or you write the things that need to be done. By doing it, it's something about writing something down that gets to the brain, okay? And I believe it's important that you carry a detailed uh, notebook or appointment book or organizer. So as we're scheduling things throughout the day, you know what's coming up and you know what you should expect out of that day. All right, here's number seven. Communicate your study time to friends and family so they are aware of your schedule and they won't interfere. Now, let's keep it real. How many times have you plan on doing something and uh, you got a phone call and you were absolutely distracted? Or maybe you had sat down to spend some time working on a paper and your mom or loved one, maybe your mate, wanted you to do something. Here's what I need you to do. If you're going to play your A game, if you're going to have your best school year ever, if you're going to be proficient at scheduling everything, listen, go ahead and communicate with those people close to you when your study time is. Guess what? They will respect you for it. 